Hello everybody, this is me, my unboxing tip one today, and today I have visited the Aquatic Centre in Balham, which is located in London in the United Kingdom. I wanted to visit this pet shop because I needed some new goldfish for my aquarium, and I thought of visiting this pet shop instead of visiting the usual, you know, pets at home or, you know, the local pet shop that I usually visit. So yeah, I just think this is pretty cool. So you can see there's some black moors there, which I might be getting, which are £16.95. There's some red caparandas for £17.95 and you can see the wen on their head is very nice and red and very, you know, healthy appearing. Um, so that's really nice. And we have some other aranda varieties there. So you can see a black aranda or a very dark blue aranda. You could say a white and a red and orange aranda um, and some other small arandas there in the corner. You can also see that they sell ranchos for £24.95. And they also sell some Ryukans there, which are pretty cool as well, for about £8.50. That's pretty good. They have very good deals on their goldfish, and they stock very healthy goldfish as well. So they don't stock, you know, diseased goldfish like other pet stores in the UK, like Pets at Home, for example, which I absolutely hate. So, yeah. So you can see some other single tail variety or goldfish, and the, all the time, you know, if anyone asks me, would you keep single tail goldfish with you know fan tail goldfish i would say absolutely no i mean if you had a pond or if you had a bigger aquarium like let's say like a 500 liter plus aquarium you might could you could get away with it but i would just say stay away from it because um single tail goldfish varieties could actually swim faster than fan tail and that can cause the fan tail goldfish to be very very stressed so i would say just stay away from it you know as a whole um, and just keep it as feeder fish or just keep it as you know you know fish just to go in the pond <laughs> or fish to feed arowanas but don't actually keep them with fine tail goldfish because that's, that's just not you know not good at all but you can see at this that they stock uh, pretty cheap you know single tail fat goldfish for about four pounds fifty so that's pretty cool so that's what you can see so you can see the single tail varieties are very healthy indeed and again, if you have any arowanas or any other large fish, you could use them as feeder fish. But I unfortunately don't have enough space to keep all those other varieties, but hopefully I will in the future. So you can see that they stock large goldfish as well, single tail goldfish, for very cheap, about £5.95. Very, very cheap indeed. Um, again, some ranchos, very, very large ranchos. And the largest ranchu is actually, as you can see on your right, very, very nice indeed. And that actually kind of persuaded me to get a ranchu because, you know, I've seen it online and I thought it was, you know, whatever. But it looks really cute in real life, so I just actually for getting one. But you can see some other, you know, like Shabankan, some Calico Fantails. You can see that we have another Aranda with a white wen, very, very cute. We have the Pearl Scale. Actually, don't, I've never owned a Pearl Scale in my life, and I also find them very fascinating. So you never know, I might get one Rancho and one Pearl Scale today. But you just have to wait and see. Um, so we have some other Fantails, some smaller Black Moors smaller shibunkins these have the telescopic eyes and we have some other fan tails we have the oranda more calico fan tails without those telescopic eyes someone just passed um, some other fish, so you can have this one here. Some other calico fan tails. We have some black moles, some black crunchy, which I found this black crunchy pretty awesome because I've never actually seen a black crunchy in my life and I think that it was pretty awesome and rare. I actually wanted to get that, but I might go to the back there and get it. Never know. Okay, and at the bottom there we get some more goldfish, more calico goldfishes. Again, a lot of variety at this pet shop, and this is not me like advertising this pet shop or anything. I just think that the stock that they sell are, is extremely amazing, and you can see, you know, that they have very generous stock and very generous prices as well. So you can see the large orandas look amazing. And then I went down to the tropical section, and you can see that they have the uh, cichlids there, and you can see that they have parrot cichlids, and the parrot cichlids are about three pound ninety five which I actually found very, very generous because I went to my other local pet shop and they had these parrot cichlids at £15 each, which was absolutely crazy. And I tried to negotiate with them because I wanted to get some and they declared my negotiation and my offer. So, you know, this pet shop is absolutely amazing. 
you know you can see even see the setup of the pet shop is amazing okay so yeah so you can see some other cichlids you can see some angelfish and as you know i purchased angelfish before from pets at home which were extremely unhealthy probably the ammonia levels were you know very high at their in their water but these angelfish look very active and very healthy and that's kind of going to change my perception maybe on the angelfish and i might get some angelfish in the future you never know guys um yeah so you can see some more goldfish and i couldn't resist but to go back to the goldfish section because i went to the pet shop for the purpose to actually get goldfish and you know it wouldn't make any sense if i went to the tropical section or you know the marine section but i wanted to like focus down on two fish that i wanted to get which was the calico the pearl scale and black but then i went down to the marine section and i saw some finding dories <laughs> some dories and i actually found dory um and you can see the blue tans are amazing you can also see the nemos the clownfish varieties are absolutely amazing this actually cost only 25 pounds actually no 14.99 absolutely amazing indeed um of course marine fish are going to be a bit more expensive than your usual freshwater fishes but they are absolutely worth it i just think that marine fish are absolutely awesome but they look they need a lot of maintaining and you can see some more dories i actually have an interpret uh, river reef uh, glass aquarium which is 94 liters so i might you know get some saltwater fish in the future but again some more goldfish very very cute some more arounders and by this time i think i've made my decision of what goldfish i am going to get so you just have to wait and see guys um but yeah my experience here has been absolutely amazing and i would definitely you know recommend this to any of you guys like if you guys live in london in the united kingdom or even if you live outside london it's definitely worth it, you know, get in the train and there's my fish. I got some fish, so I'm heading back home now, um, re ready to enjoy my fish and acclimatize them. And yeah, so about 45 minutes later, you'll see me in my house. Hi guys, so I just got back home now from the aquatic center in Balham. Um, and I think that, that that pet shop is probably one of the best pet shop in the world. Like even better than pets at home, even better than, you know, any other pet shop, you know, I've been to. And I think it's one of the best pet shops and the fish price there is absolutely amazing like I feel I feel like 595 for one of my fish and then 495 for both of the other ones um, so I'm gonna show you what fish I got so this is the fish which I purchased um, which I am super happy about and as you can see they are still very active um, I had to travel about an hour an hour I would say under an hour about 45 minutes to actually put you know get this fish to my house so they're extremely stressed at the moment, so I don't want to get them more stressed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in my tank. But what you can see what I've got, I've got one sort of calico fantail with the sort of thing at the back. You can see the sort of tail at the back. I've got one pearl scale, which I've always, always wanted because I found like the movement, you know, their movement is just so cute and cool. <laughs> so that's why I got that. And I've also got one rancher as well. So ranchers, I think as well, having that jelly on their heads. So you might be thinking to yourself, this tank is overstocked. And I get that it is overstocked and, you know, I probably need to like lower on the amount of fish that I get, which is true. But again, guys, I will be upgrading this tank very, very soon. And I'll be upgrading it to a um, 300 litre tank, um, which we'll be seeing very, very soon on this channel. So I'm just gonna actually turn the light off because you always have to turn the light off because the fish, as you can imagine, I'm putting them into a different environment and that's probably more stress. So I'm just gonna flip this bit off and I'm going to flip it on its side like that. And what I'm going to do now is get these two pegs and open the bag to let the oxygen come in and then let them thing um, sort of acclimatize in that condition. So I'm going to put my bag in now and I'm going to basically let it acclimatize. Now some people leave it like that and you know let it acclimatize that way. Some people like to do the water method which is basically adding in um, water in the tank slowly slowly. But I don't think that method is good. Um, the method that I use is basically I'm going to show you now. Open the bag first thing. Open the bag. So letting oxygen in because it's been, you know, it needs to get that oxygen. So you get the bag, put the bag on your tank as I'm showing you now. And you want to just peg down. I hope you can see that a bit better, a bit clearer actually now. So you peg down. Oh, you want to peg down the bag. Okay. And you want to peg down this part here. And what will happen now is the bag, you know, won't sort of tilt by anything. So you just leave it there for about 20 minutes and then come back to it in after. So you can see my ranchu, so cute, my ranchu, he's so cute. Um, my fantail, calico fantail and my pearl scale. 
they're still very very small at the moment but trust me guys they get big very very quickly uh, even without even you, you even noticing so you know that will be pretty cool for me to see um, all my fish actually look very healthy as you can see um, none of them have actually any disease I've only had one of my black moors having Popeye disease which I had to return back to the pet shop um, so yeah that's pretty much it but apart from that guys all my goldfish as you can see are pretty healthy so guys I've got a better uh, net now and what you want to do as well just rinse it out as well just to make sure that um, you know all the dust and stuff has been removed and what you want to do is basically once it's been acclimatized is remove it from here so you pour it into the net and you don't want to pour it quickly now what happened when I had my um, my other fish, what fish was it? My guppies, I, I poured it so quickly over the bucket and what happened is, I think one of my guppies got like missing somewhere, I don't know where, somewhere. And I still haven't found it yet. So I was sent 15 guppies and when I counted it, there were 15, but then there weren't 15, like there was something else. So you wanna put them now in here and you can see, let's get out. See, all the fish which I purchased are very, very healthy. So I'm just going to zoom my pearl scale. You can see my pearl scale right there. You go swimming up, my pearl scale. Um, my calico fine tail is currently at the back, probably a bit stressed as it, it looks, at the back of that treasure thing. Um, there you go, coming out, my calico fine tail. And my ranchu is right there, just by that ornament there. There you go, in between those two goldies. Very, very cute guys. So there you go. This is my complete goldfish collection. I think my goldfish collection is pretty much complete now. Um, so I have about 10 goldfish at the moment and 11 actually. So now some people tell me that I shouldn't really keep, like I went to the pet shop, I told them that I have some zebra danios. They told me that it's not advisable to get it with the goldfish. But I don't know, like, do you think I should remove it? Like, I have another tropical tank with guppies and neon tetras. If you think I should put that in there instead, if it would survive in there, it's about 25 degrees, 20, sometimes it goes to 28 degrees. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to see if I can fish them out and put them in there. If not, then I'll just leave it in there with the goldfish. Because I am going to get a friendly attack. Um, I'm also going to remove all the ornaments, as I told you like 20 times in this video. Um, just, you know, I just think... I just think this, they're, they're cute. Like, look at the little pearl scale. It's so cute. If you want more videos on goldfish, like, if you want me to get more goldfish, I don't think I should. Because... I think that's pretty much the, the most I could have got. I think I have to remove two in there, like maximum two has to be removed in that tank. I think 10 goldfish in 300 litre tank is not too little. But again, guys, that is not going to be a permanent thing. I'm probably going to upgrade probably later on, probably in the next year or two. I'd probably upgrade to like a 500 litre tank, maybe. I'm not promising anything, but I might do that. Like if I have enough space, like if I, if I change, you know, if I get a bigger room, if I, get, if I change my house, I probably would get a 500 litre tank, probably even a, going up to a 1,000 litres. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it guys um, in the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Mindbox and Fun for more videos like this and I'll catch you guys later.